Hi students and welcome to this lecture. From here we are going to study about the applications of derivatives. Now we know that differential calculus has wide applications in many diverse fields of engineering, science, technology and many other fields. Derivatives help us to calculate the rate of change of quantities with respect to change in some other quantity. They help us to find the equations of tangents and normals to any curve. Help us to find whether a function is increasing or decreasing and also help us to find the points of maxima and minima. They help us in finding the approximate values and calculating the errors. So we have divided this entire study of application of derivatives into three lectures. So in this first lecture we will study about tangents and normals, rate of change of one physical quantity with respect to the other and error estimation. So let's begin our study on application of derivatives. If we have any function y equal to f of x, then dy by dx equal to f dash x gives us the rate of change of y with respect to change in x. Here y is the dependent quantity and x represents the independent variable. So dy by dx or the differential coefficient of any function at any point gives us the rate of change of one quantity with respect to another quantity. Now let us see how the tool of differentiation helps us to calculate the rate of change of one quantity with respect to another. Let us see an example. There is a lamp post of height 9 feet. A man of height 4 feet is moving away from this lamp at a constant speed of 5 feet per second. Calculate the rate at which his shadow is moving. Also calculate how faster is the shadow moving with respect to the man. So in this problem we have been given that there is a lamp post of height 9 feet. There is a man of height 4 feet and he is moving away from the lamp post at a constant speed of 5 feet per second. Now of course there is a lamp post so it will make a shadow of this man. We have to calculate the rate at which his shadow is moving. Also we have to calculate how faster is the shadow moving with respect to the man. So let us see how to solve this problem. Now we have been given a lamp post of height 9 feet. So this represents the lamp post. Let us say that this is the man whose height is 4 feet. Now it has been given that this man is moving away from the lamp post. Now this is the length of the shadow at any instant formed by the lamp post. Now we have to calculate the rate at which this shadow is moving. So let us say that at any instant this represents the distance x and this distance is equal to y. Now we can say that the length of the shadow is equal to y and this represents the distance of the man from the lamp post. Now if you say that this angle is theta then this angle would also be equal to theta. Now this length is equal to 4. So this length would be equal to 5. Therefore, tan theta is equal to 5 by x in this triangle. And if we take this whole triangle, then this is also equal to 9 by y. So we see that y is equal to 9x by 5. So we see that y is equal to 9x by 5. Now if we differentiate both sides with respect to t, that is time, then we get dy by dt is equal to 9 by 5 times dx by dt. Now dx by dt is nothing but the speed of the man which is equal to 5 feet per second. So we put this value and get 9 feet per second as the speed of the shadow. So the shadow is moving at a speed of 9 feet per second. Thus we have calculated the first part. For the second part, we see that the speed of man is 5 and the speed of shadow is 9. So we see that the shadow is moving faster and which is equal to 4. Thus the shadow is moving at the rate of 4 feet per second faster as compared to the speed of man. Thus we see that the speed of shadow is equal to 9 and which is moving 4 feet per second faster as compared to the speed of man. Let's solve one more problem. Air is being pumped into a balloon at the rate of 3 cm cubes per minute. Calculate the rate of change in the surface area of the balloon 
when its radius is 6 cm. So in this problem, we are filling air into a balloon at the rate of 3 cm cubes per minute. So its volume is increasing. We have to calculate the rate of change in the surface area of the balloon. So let's once again see the solution of this. This is the balloon and we see that slowly and slowly air is being pumped into the balloon and so its surface area is increasing. So now given that change in the volume is equal to 3 cm cubes per second. Now volume of any balloon is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube where r is the radius of balloon. Now if we differentiate both sides with respect to t, so we see that dv by dt is equal to 4 by 3 pi into 3 r square into dr by dt. Now this is nothing but the rate of change of radius with respect to time. So given that dv by dt is equal to 3 and which is equal to 4 pi into r square into dr by dt. This 3 and this 3 gets cancelled and hence we get dr by dt equal to 3 by 4 pi r square where r is again the radius of balloon. Now we have to calculate the change in surface area of the balloon. Now s is equal to 4 pi r square. So differentiating with respect to time we get ts by dt equal to 8 pi into r into dr by dt. So dr by dt is equal to 3 by 4 pi r square. So we put this value and get ds by dt equal to 8 pi r into 3 by 4 pi r square which is equal to 6 by r. Now we have been given that r is equal to 6 centimeters. So ds by dt at the instant when the radius is equal to 6 centimeter is equal to 1. Thus we see that this is equal to 1 centimeter square per second. Thus the rate of change of surface area of the balloon is equal to 1 centimeter square per second. So let's see one more problem. Water is coming out of a conical funnel of vertical angle 90 degree at a rate of 1 centimeter cube per second. Calculate the rate at which the height of water level inside the funnel is decreasing at the instant when its height is equal to 2 cm. So in this problem we have been given that there is a conical funnel of vertical angle 90 degree. Now water is coming out of this funnel at the rate of 1 cm cubes per second. So we have to calculate the rate at which the height of water level inside the funnel is decreasing at the very instant when its height is 2 cm. As the water is coming out so its height would be decreasing. We have to calculate this rate of change of height at the instant when height is equal to 2 cm. Now as this is a 90 degree conical funnel therefore radius is equal to height. Now this is the radius and this represents the height. Now as the water inside this funnel is coming out, therefore this height is decreasing. Earlier it was somewhere here and then at this instant let us say that this is h. Now volume of the cone is given by the formula 1 by 3 pi r square into h. Your r is equal to h so we say that it is equal to h cube. So v is equal to 1 by 3 pi h cube. Now if we differentiate both sides with respect to time we get dv by dt is equal to 1 by 3 into pi into 3 h square into dh by dt. Given that dv by dt is equal to 1 centimeter cubes per second. Hence this is equal to 1 by 3 into pi into 3 into we have to calculate the rate of change in height with respect to time at the instant when the height is equal to 2 centimeters. So this is equal to 2 and this is dh by dt. This 3 and this 3 gets cancelled and what we get is dh by dt is equal to 1 by 4 
pi centimeter per second. Thus, we can say that the height of the water level inside the conical funnel is decreasing at the rate of 1 by 4 pi centimeters per second at the instant when the height is equal to 2 centimeters.